Now, a question I get quite a lot from students is understanding what this line of code means here. So this is something in pretty much every IDE. When you make a new Python file, you will find something that includes this. You might have some commented out explanation at the top, um, but most students at the start just delete it because at the, at the very start, when you first learn to code, it's too much to understand what that means. But I think hopefully now you're at a level where explaining this might make more sense. And again, for my students that are going off to university, I'd like to see this used in the larger projects they might do. So to explain this, I need to explain first what this name variable means. So this is a hidden name that every file has. So by default, this is the name of the file. OK, so if I go to simple math, for example, and we need to try and make sure we don't get this confused with the name of my file here, which is also happens to be main. So if I go here and I say uh, print name. So when I run it, by default, I'm running this file here. So if I was to, well, if I run it to show you, nothing's going to happen. It just prints hello. If I import simple math, and then run what it says here is simple math because when i've imported simple math it's obviously defined all the functions but then it's running this line of code here which is saying print out their name which is saying is simple math because it's the name of the file however i've pressed run within main and it's imported simple math so the name of simple math is the name of the file if i was in simple math and i run it straight away so I run simple math look. It's now saying its name, the hello's gone because hello is coming from the main file. It's now saying the name is main because main is given to the file which you've got open when you press run. Okay, so this is why you might see at the start of a lot of files it having this if name equals main. So it's basically saying if this is the main file, do whatever this block of code is underneath. Okay, if it isn't, you might want to do something else. Okay, so if I go back to simple math, um, and we'll leave that on actually, because, oh no, I know what I could do. I could say if name is equal to main, and I could print um, ran from uh, simple math. And then in here, I could say ran from main. So now if I press run, it's saying ran from simple math because, because I last ran from simple math. Every time I press the run button, it's linked to that file. Okay, so if I want to run from main again, I need to right click on it and run main. And you can see now I've pressed run from main. If I run from simple math, it says run from simple math. Okay, so if I run from main again, I've imported simple math, but it didn't run this block of code because the name of that file isn't main. Because main is only given to the file at which you press the run button from. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. What I'd like to see in larger projects is that all of your um, different functions are sort of compartmentalized into a useful file. So they've all, all of your functions have been separated over multiple files. This is in large projects where they make sense to be kept together because they've got some kind of meaning. It's got a nice name on the file. And then you want to think of this here as like the conductor to the orchestra. So underneath this in the block here, you want to then call all the relevant things from the different files to run in your whatever order you want it to be running. OK, and you choose what the outputs are, what the inputs are. Every, this is the conductor to the orchestra and the orchestra is all the different files that do different jobs. So that's hopefully explained what this is. This is again not relevant until you get to the point where you're making large projects and large large files with you know thousands of lines of code and things like that. It's only at this point this becomes useful. When you're first learning, just delete it. Just delete it and learn Python without it. 
this is more of an example of best practice 